Hi, I'm Kevin Dahani, and today I'm going to show you step by step how to make a gorilla mask for the Lion King. I'll use a variety of products and materials, including WED clay, plaster wrap, and paper mache. For a complete list of all the materials and items that you'll need to make your own mask, just visit my website at theartfulness.com. For the gorilla mask, I did the sculpt using the WED clay. And as you can see, there's just a lot of broad general details. I don't have the specific minute details done like eyes or wrinkly nose or things like that. And that's because those details just do not um, pick up well with the plaster wrap. I will go back and add all of those details in using the paper mache clay um, after he's been plaster wrapped and after he's been uh, paper mache -ed. So for now, we'll start out using uh, doing the plaster wrap. I've got all of my supplies and materials ready. I have the plaster wrap cut in approximate two inch strips. I have the nonstick vegetable oil that will be sprayed on first and it acts as a release agent to help um, pull the plaster wrap off after it's dry. And then I have a, a bowl of very warm water, scissors, and then I've got some sculpting tools also that'll just kind of help to uh, get that plaster wrap into some of the nooks and crannies. Um, so that's it. First step is Mr. Gorilla is ready for plaster wrap. With the two coats of plaster wrap dry, and then the mask was cut down to size using the Dremel Moto tool, the next step is to do paper mache. I just wanted to do a quick demonstration and show you how great this Dremel Moto tool works for cutting down the plaster wrap on these masks. So as you can see, using the Dremel Moto tool is really quick and really efficient for trimming down the plaster wrap. If there's any other little uh, areas or whatever that need trimming, you can go back and, and, and use the Dremel. You can also use a scissors, it's just a lot harder to do. So now that they're trimmed down, the next step is going to be to do paper mache. The paper mache layer is dry on the gorilla, and so now he's ready for fine sculpting using the paper mache clay. I have all of my supplies and materials ready, including the paper mache clay. I have glue, which I'll do a glue and water mix. Um, I've got the cornstarch, and that just helps uh, when dusting your hands and dusting the paper mache clay when working with it, because it's, it's very, very sticky. Um, and then I've got a little bowl of water also, which also helps. So, um, the next step is to do the paper mache clay. If you're looking for how to make the paper mache clay or any more specific videos, uh, tutorials on how to use the paper mache clay, just visit my website at theartfulness.com. The Gorilla Mask is now complete. By using the paper mache clay, I was able to add some really cool fine details, like his eyes and the wrinkled bridge of his nose. After painting on a layer of gesso, I started painting him using black paint. But if I just used only the black, the look wouldn't really have much depth to it, and it would be very sort of one-dimensional. So I used a very dark gray paint for the inner portion of his face. Then I took a silver metallic paint 
and painted the little hairs all over the outside of his face. For his eyes and the inside of his mouth, I used a copper metallic paint. From one clay sculpt, I made four gorilla masks. The WED clay really holds up well to multiple castings with the plaster wrap. I could have easily made more gorillas, but I only needed four. The final step was to secure the baseball cap to the back of the mask so that it can be worn on top of the actor's head as a headpiece. For a complete tutorial on how to make and secure the baseball cap to the headpiece, just visit my website at theartfulness.com.